Hi and welcome to Wall TV. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit that bell button to get updates on our future uploads. Also, if you haven't seen our video on the things to consider before creating a logo, please watch it first before this one. The link is in the description section below. After identifying the characteristics, symbolisms, and meanings we want to include in our logo, the next thing to do is to tap on our artistic skills to begin creating drafts for our logo. However, the problem is when you haven't done anything like this in the past and you don't know where to start. Well, fear not, because in this video, I will teach you how to create a logo for free in less than 10 minutes. The first thing you need to do is to click on the link provided in the description section. Right-click on it and choose Open in New Tab. It will take you to this site. Depending on your style, you may want to have a logo with both an icon and a word mark, a word mark alone, or an icon alone. Just take note that in our previous video, it was mentioned that majority of successful companies use both an icon and a word mark in their logos. To replace the existing image, click New on the top part of the screen, then click Yes on the dialog box. To start creating an icon, just click on Add Symbol. It will show you a drop-down menu of the different categories you may choose from. Select the category related to the logo you are creating. For me, I will go to Abstract first to look for something I can use as a base. Since I want my logo to be seen as stable and professional, I will choose this square design. I can drag it to the middle of the screen, resize it, or rotate it, but for now I will leave it as is. Now I don't like these two parts, so I will hide them. To do that, click on the part you want to hide, and then click this eye. Do the same for any part you want to hide. Now I want to change the color of the shape. To do that, click on the part you want to modify, click the color section on the left, and choose the color you want. Now I want to add another symbol. To do that, just click Add Symbol. Choose the category and pick an icon. I like this one. Drag, resize, rotate, or change the colors as you wish but I will leave it as is. Now it's time to add the name. Just click on Add Text. Choose the font style and color as you wish. Double click on the text to edit it. Let us name it Plant Box. Be creative and play with the text and images to create a more beautiful outcome. As for me, I want to change the font style and the font color of the word box. To do it, I need to duplicate the text. Remove unnecessary parts. Then change the font style and color. If you need to add a tagline, just click Add Text again and you know the drill. And there we have it, our newly created logo. Once you are done with the logo, click Save and Download. Just enter your email, then click Save and Continue. Check your email and the logo in different formats is already sent to your inbox. Just take note that if you need the logo with a transparent background, make sure you use the PNG file. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe.